Hey guys, I'm actually super happy and excited to share with you our wrong number workflow, which you can just copy and also just do it inside your REA reply. For so long, most of our clients or even the people you know that's using REA reply have asked me how do we avoid duplicating contacts, how do we like text blast all these phone numbers to attach to a seller without duplicating them. I think those are the problem that we have in the past. So when when the workflow was actually created, finally, we're able to create something automation that would allow us not to duplicate the phone numbers or, you know, the, the records anymore in the system. Because in the system, what we can do now is we can create a workflow that allows the system to update phone field to the next phone number. Because obviously, when you request for skip tracing in your like skip tracing company, they provide you with like at least minimum of, you know, minimum of four up phone numbers for us um, i have set up a wrong number workflow to, uh, to up to a phone like phone number four because that's what we would normally get but for you guys you can always just change or duplicate this so as you can see i'm in automations and in workflows you can always just duplicate or copy or clone this specific workflow and then change it to phone number five if you want to add more but before we talk what is the setup inside of our workflow so you can copy it for yourself i just want to talk about the prerequisite before you make your workflow or you create your workflow the first thing is making sure that you have these following tags first added manually inside your your rea reply so you have the the first one wrong number i'm sure that that's default but this other ones phone number two three four and then reskeep trace i just added phone number five but honestly for my setup i don't need that but if you need it you just have phone number five four, six and seven because you're cloning the exact same workflow for the other ones that is already created in the system so our last stage we call it as a reskeep trace so it's like giving us an idea that okay this is the last phone number and we haven't been able to get the right one so then we need to make sure that we reskeep trace them or do something else for this contact right and just so you know guys you can actually add you know contact i mean tags just in case inside rea reply by going to all right so that's gonna be under settings you know just quickly and then go to tags and you can manually add those tags inside your your, your system so for me as you can see it's already there so i'm not going to add that anymore so going back to automations let's review what's in my wrong number workflow or in our work wrong number workflow initially our problem was what if i only have like two phone numbers but then i have you know four workflows for Four different phone numbers the good thing about the workflow now is the fact that you can actually create what and if else condition so we're able to figure that out but before we jump into the what and if condition i guess i want to just talk about how this is going to happen i mean what is going like what is the event that will trigger these other actions from happening basically from updating the phone field to phone number two to three and then four right so the the events um, that will trigger this are basically the following, which you know you would normally see in my workflow. One is when customer replied the exact match phrase of wrong number. I would always want to do same exact match phrase because I just, you know, I just want to make sure you know that is uh, exact word that they said for them to be added in this workflow because sometimes people would include it, but then they also said something else. So you just don't want to create like. You know, you don't want to create a workflow if they said wrong number, but I have another property. So you don't want, you know, you don't want to follow this other stuff over here, right? So that should be exact same phrase, all right? Now, the other trigger is when somebody actually added wrong number. So meaning, okay, they didn't respond wrong number, but then somebody like your user added the contact tag wrong number manually. So then that's one of the triggers. So you can save that. Then the other one is when somebody actually moved the lead. So I also wanted that when I manually move my lead into my pipeline called wrong number, then I want this to happen as well. All right. So these are the three events that is going to make this action happen all right so my very first the, the very first thing that we have to consider is what i said earlier what if they do have a second phone number but then that phone field is empty 
So then what's going to happen, right? So the power of what if an else condition, I'm going to add, I'm going to select the plus icon so you just can see what it, you know, what this is all about. So if an else conditions allows you to decide what is it that you wanted to make as a condition for this specific trigger or specific workflow for hours, what we did is if our phone tool is basically empty or if it's not empty then this is what's going to happen so we have two conditions here yes and a no so basically if the phone tool is empty so if this is a no or i mean if this is a yes it's actually empty what i want to happen is i want the system to automatically add the last tag stage called rescape trace so then we know that it needs to be rescape trace because that's the last phone number the first number was really a wrong number and then i also want the system to add a no so that I would know that when I come into the system that there's no phone to, no other phone numbers attached to this contact and to just tag them automatically to reskeep trace. So that is if the phone to is basically empty. So it's not going to go with phone to, I mean phone three, four workflows, right? But if it's not empty, meaning there is phone to, what I have want to happen is I want to make sure that we just mark that conversation red. I think that just makes your life a lot easier. And I also want the system to add the contact note that actually says, so you can do add note. So you can do add and then, you know, like note. So in this section, you can select add to notes so this is the, the automatic notes we have and you can use custom values for that so contact phone is updated to phone too so just in case i have to find it then you know i have it in my notepad and an update contact field from phone so that's phone field so this is the phone field it's default to phone too you can also use custom values to be able to select phone too in there right then i save that action the next thing is i want that same contact field to also be added in my pipeline so that's that's going to be added in the wrong number pipeline i also want to remove any unnecessary tags so guys how you want to efficiently use rei to apply is you have to make sure that any unnecessary tags when i say unnecessary tags is that they shouldn't be there because there is a specific workflow attached to a tag so like for your system to work correctly you have to make sure that that's also removed because if you have phone three four and you know so on attached to your actual lead then all of these happens or your system will be confused what needs to happen because you do have specific workflows for these tags and that's the purpose of removing the other tags and then of course adding what should only be there and that's phone number two and then sending another text because that's been updated so after so update contact field you guys have to follow the same exact thing and then here what i want to do is once the phone number is updated the note has been added the tag has been updated stage has been updated to i want the system to automatically send another text message to the second phone number that just ask them hey do you happen to know the whereabouts of this address just making sure you got my text and then after that i want to wait for one day before sending another text to the second phone number or before adding them to the next workflow which is update to contact phone three meaning what's going to happen is when they still did not respond to that i want them to be added to contact to phone three to have the system automatically updated to the phone number like phone three workflow so i just want to show you guys a uh, phone three and four is basically just similar the only so yeah that that's actually pretty much similar to phone three and phone four is like similar workflows the only difference is if you notice that the, the events are now different because phone three workflow is only going to happen when the tag phone three has been added to a contact so meaning earlier the last you know the last event in our previous workflow was to add that into phone number three when that's updated or what after it's updated to phone three then what happens to that is it adds the contact tag phone three and this is now what happens so like of course the tag will be added so like the workflow that you guys can see here is pretty much the same because it marks that as red it adds the note to update now from phone two to three and then it creates or update the opportunity pipeline to still under the phone number wrong number and then it removes the previous tag unnecessary tags as well so just want to show you guys two and four is now is not part of that tag but i only want to keep phone three because that's in that workflow now and then sms 
so that's the same sms and then we wait and if it's still the wrong number then we want to add them to finally the phone 3 workflow which again is pretty much similar to phone 3 but i just want to show you guys what needs to be removed so like when you have to do this okay so like if this is what you should see under remove tag this is what you guys would have to remove I, although i think something is missing here because phone um two also needs to be removed there okay applied yep that's right and we update and then the last stage would be when we now finally want to reskip trace the phone number because that's the last phone number so I just want to go over it real quick because this is the only different workflow because this is the last stage. So basically when a lead is tagged reskip trace, of course, we want to mark that as conversation uh, read again. We wanted to add that reskip trace tag on it. So what triggers this actual tag and guys, as you can see, all of my tags are also part of the remove tag because most of the time, this is what happened. There are specific workflows on all of these. So I just want them to be in there too. Right, and then we wanted them to remove under the opportunity seller leads pipeline because we want to take them out of the pipeline and just reskip trace. And we also wanted to just set that into not uh, do not contact anymore. I mean, this specific phone number, not the actual contact, but just making sure that you know the same phone number wouldn't be contacted anymore just in case so yeah that's basically the end of the wrong number workflow i hope you guys can actually set this up the way you know i, I did show it to you you can replay this video to be able to just follow through how it is set up uh, but if you do have any questions or clarification leave them in the comment section below and we're happy to address them or maybe if you do have constructive feedback if you notice anything that might have been wrong let us know although we have tested this already and it did work for us so yeah happy to hear from you guys uh please follow me on more youtube videos and definitely to know how to upload leads correctly just check on my videos to be able to make sure that this is actually being done correctly in your system too thank you and have a great one